हॅलो एव्हरी वन आय एम पुनश्री पाटील ॲसिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नॉलॉजी ऑफ ऑल इंडिया श्री शिवाजी मेमोरियल सोसायटी इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नॉलॉजी पुणे सो आय वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस सेशन सो टुडे वी हॅव टू डिस्कस दि इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ सी प्लस प्लस सो सी प्लस प्लस इज द सक्सेसर टू दि सी लँग्वेज इट इज द प्रोसिजरल लँग्वेज अँड सी पी पी इज द वॉज डेव्हलप बाय द नाईन्टीन एटी बाय बजर्न स्टॉटअप ॲट ए अँड टी बेल्ट लॅबोरेटरी द मोस्ट ऑफ द सी इज द सबसेट ऑफ सी प्लस प्लस सो सी प्लस प्लस इज द ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लँग्वेज दॅट इज नॉट कम्प्लिटली ऑपरेटिंग ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लँग्वेज ड्यू टू इट्स रिडिसर्स ऑफ दॅट इज सी सो प्रोग्रामिंग इज द क्राफ्ट ऑफ ट्रान्सफॉर्मिंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स इन टू द समथिंग दॅट कॉम्प्युटर कॅन एक्झिक्यूट द प्रोग्रामर क्रिएट्स दि रेसिपी दॅट कॉम्प्युटर कॅन अंडरस्टँड अँड एक्झिक्यूट सो प्रोसिजरली प्रोग्रामिंग द प्रोस प्रोग्रामर इम्प्लिमेंट्स द रिक्वायरमेंट बाय ब्रेकिंग डाऊन दॅम इन टू स्मॉल स्टेप दॅट इज फंक्शन अँड डिकम्पोजिशन दॅट इज द प्रॉब्लेम विथ द प्रोसिजरल प्रोग्रामिंग लँग्वेज इज दॅट इट फॉलोज द टॉप डाऊन अप्रोच मिनिंग द प्रोग्राम इज व्ह्यूड ॲज द सिरीज ऑफ सिक्वेन्शियल स्टेप्स इन प्रोसिजरल प्रोग्रामिंग एक प्रोग्राम इज डिवायडेड इन टू व्हेरियस प्रोसिजर्स ऑर फंक्शन्स विच ऑपरेट्स ऑन डेटा द इश्यू विथ दिस अप्रोच इज दॅट वेन द प्रोग्राम ग्रोज लार्जर द कोड इज रिटर्डन्सी अँड मेंटॅबिलिटी अँड कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज इज इन्क्रीजेस सो बोथ द प्रोसिजरल अँड ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड आर द इम्पेरेटिव्ह प्रोग्रामिंग so object oriented programming focus on the binding attributes and behavior of the real world entity represented using the objects and suppose features like abstraction encapsulation inheritance polymorphism so the object oriented programming is nothing but the break down the requirements in the objects with the responsibilities not on not into the functional steps let uh, then object hierarchies and uh, interaction instead of the program control flow a completely different programming it is a completely different programming paradigm then uh, why we use the uh, object oriented programming to modularize the software development just like any other engineering discipline to make the software projects more manageable and predictable for better maintainability and for more reuse of the code okay then next one is the features of the op then uh, we have to use the data rather than the procedure programs are divided into the objects then uh, functions that operate on the data of an object are tied together to the data structure object may communicate with each other by using the function new data and function can be added easily whenever they are necessary then next one is the features of the uh, op then first one is the class and object then message and methods encapsulation inheritance polymorphism and abstraction so first one is the what is object and what is classes so first one is the classes a class is the user defined uh, data type and the main building block of the object oriented programming it is identifiable entity that can have some descriptive properties it is used user defined data type that hold the data members and member function in a single unit it is like uh, a blueprint of the object then uh, object is nothing but they are like the signature of the class and object is an instance of a class without an object no memory is allocated to the class's data member or member function with an object of a class we can access the data members and member functions that can be accessed an object represents a real world entity having the set of attributes and behavior however an object can't be simply declared as the same as the primitive type okay so next one is the encapsulation <coughs> so encapsulation is the process of enclosing all critical information inside an object and only revealing the subset of it to the outside the world for example code inside the class template defines the attributes and behavior so encapsulation is the language mechanism for restricting access to some of the object components a language construct that facilitate the bundling of 
data with the methods and operate on that data so next one is the inheritance so inheritance is the mechanism to design two or more entities that are different but share the many common features so feature common to all classes is defined in superclass and the classes that inherit the common features are the, called as the uh, subclasses so there are uh, many types of the inheritance so there are uh, five types of inheritance single level inheritance multi level then multiple then hybrid and hierarchical in single level inheritance we inherit the derived classes inherited from only one blessed class then in multi level deriving the classes from another derived classes in multiple inheritance deriving a new class that inherits the attributes from two or more classes in hybrid inheritance this is the combination of more than one type of inheritance and in hierarchical inheritance is the process of deriving more than one class from the base class here is the example of the inheritance that is a base class is the account and subclasses are the current account and saving account so we have to inherit the elements from the account for the base subclasses current account and saving account so next one is the polymorphism so poly means many so we have to take the more than one form is known as the polymorphism uh, it is uh, refers to the creation of items that have the similar behavior the uh, for example objects may override the common parent behaviors with particular child behaviors through the inheritance so method overriding and method overloading are the two ways of polymorphism enables the same method to perform the various actions so here is the example of polymorphism of overriding indicates the subclasses and parent classes of the same method next one is the abstraction so abstraction is the process of modeling only the relevant features it reduces the complexity and aids understanding abstraction provides the freedom to defer implementation decision by avoiding the commitments of the details uh, it is the high level technique of uh, simple items uh, are used to show the complexity it is keep complicated information hidden from the user here is the example of abstraction then uh, how to write the process of writing the c, the c program so there is a process first one is the editor then preprocessor compiler linker loader and cpu in first step right we have to uh, write the source code and it is saved by using dot cpp and header file is by using dot h then step 2 the preprocessor the source code according to the preprocessor directory directories the preprocessor directory begins with the hash sign is uh, for example hash include hash define etc in step 3 we compile the preprocess source code into the object code by using dot obz then um, in next step that is for the uh, linker that is link the compile object codes with other object codes that is library object codes dot library files then in uh, step 5 we have to load the executable code into computer memory and in step 6 run the executable stored with the input to produce the desired outputs so here is the template of the c++ program hash include iostream dot is the header file using namespace standard library in and then uh, integer main function you have to write your program statement here in main function thank you